Where do you want me? Joe Average exceeds his own name. The Vancouver artist is nothing short of a visionary. But the painter hasn't touched a brush in 20 years. Soon after, he was diagnosed with AIDS. My doctor told me that I should consider getting my affairs in order and that I probably had six months left to live. Unemployed, he decided to fully enjoy each moment of his life and started sharing his art with a wider audience. The only thing that I ever got any attention for was the doodles in my notebook. And so I thought, well, let's put that on some bigger paper <laughs> and see if we can sell this stuff. To his amazement, his first exhibition was a success. His friends say this was largely due to his use of bright colors. And so he put orange in front of blue, and the blue was better. And so you could see little types, little streaks of color, if you will, that just made the painting feel like it was alive. Carol Sabiston was Average's teacher in high school. She says his art is even more striking, considering his private battles. He's just uh, an incredibly positive person. Knowing the adversity that he's gone through is really amazing. I know that he is well-loved and well-regarded by the entire community. In 1994, Average created a painting titled One World, One Hope for the 11th International AIDS Conference held in Vancouver two years later. The painting expressed fragility in the face of AIDS and the need to work together with love. That is his most well-known painting to this day. That painting put me on the map. I'd say it's probably my favorite painting. In 2021, he became a member of the Order of BC. It's the way I want to see the world. It, just happy and bright and colorful and without confusion. And it's, it's my little love letters to the world, I think, are my paintings. This tireless fighter has created a rich body of work, something he now takes pride in. You are a wise elder. And I went, yes, I will gladly have that title of wise elder. I think I've deserved it, and I think I can fit that role. And so I'm very content being a wise elder now. Monia Blanchet, CBC News, Vancouver.